Hey babes, welcome back to Sober Sips, where I try some booze-free beverages. My name is Shay Gomez, and I'm the creator and founder of No Booze Babes. And today I'm sober sipping on another athletic brewing company, non-alcoholic beer. But this beer right here is extra special because it is America's first non-alcoholic Oktoberfest beer. Dun, 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 dun. That is amazing. Athletic, you continue to blow my mind and change the game when it comes to non-alcoholic craft brews. So thank you so much for being you. Babes, while I have you here, make sure that you are subscribed to the No Booze Babes YouTube channel because a new episode of Sober Sips drops every Thirsty Thursday. And you don't want to miss it. I'm telling you, you really don't. So make sure that you turn on that notification bell to get notified every time a new video drops. Amazing. All right. So let's talk a little bit about athletics. So we've talked about it in the past. I actually have two other Sober Sips episodes on some of their non-alcoholic beers. So be sure to check those out. But today we are all focused on this fabulous Oktoberfest. Um, so Athletic Brewing Company's slogan really is brew without compromise. Without compromising, you know, your training, of course, at, with Athletic Brewing, they have a lot of athletes. They are very much about an athletic, physical lifestyle. So, you know, they literally like bike across the country. They are doing some amazing things. So check out their Instagram for more information. I will also leave the link to their website below if you want to learn more about them, stock them, and there are over 15 craft non-alcoholic brews. Um, but what's cool about them is you don't have to compromise your sobriety, you don't have to compromise your pregnancy, you don't have to compromise sober October, nothing. So I'm all about them. Um, speaking of that, when it comes to ABV, babes, they actually have less than 0.5% traces of alcohol. So trace amount of alcohol. Um, so if that's something that you are like no go on, just avoid this. But if you're like, cool, it's not alcoholic, live your dreams. Um, let's talk a little bit about branding. So we see, of course, it is wrapped in a brown wrapper. We got the orange, we got the yellow. So it's very fall-like. It's very fall, festive, fall colors. Let me say fall one more time. Fall, la 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 la. What I also love is that the Oktoberfest has a very Oktoberfesty font, because I'm all about fonts. But I mean, really the branding's pretty, pretty simple, so but we love it. Okay, so time for the reason that you came here. Time to get sober sipping. So of course, you know, I love to pour it into a glass. We gotta see that color. We gotta see that festive Oktoberfest situation going on there. So go ahead and crack that open. <gasps> I wish like some festive music came out or something. I don't know. I feel like Oktoberfest has, you know, you're intense, you're wearing, Maybe a fancy Oktoberfest outfit, who knows? I've never been, but maybe one year I will. Okay, we got that beautiful golden color, love it. Let's give it a smell. Ooh, we got that malt. We got a little like toasted, to it kind of smells like toast, like a toasted bread situation. But you know what? Before we go too much farther, I think we have to actually pour this into a liter because it is an Oktoberfest brew. So let's do it the Oktoberfest way. I know you can't see the fabulous color, but like we're getting festive. We're pretending like we're Oktoberfest. We're pretending like we're at Oktoberfest, even though we're literally staying indoors. Mmm. I smell barley. I smell malt. I smell some good Oktoberfest vibes. All right, babes, time to get sober sipping. Mmm. Okay, okay. A malt flavor, but not anything too overpowering. There's a little bit of like a bitterness, but it's not like a harsh bitterness. It's like the perfect amount just at the end. Mm. There's a little bit of sweetness in it as well, which I really find awesome. Um, it tastes like a real beer, which honestly, Athletic does such a good job at that. 
it always is pretty convincing. I would say at the end of it, you get a little bit of that bitterness like I was talking about, but then it kind of has a little bit of wateriness at the end. I think that's just the fact that it's a non-alcoholic. Um, sometimes I find that that's the case with them. Let's give it one more sip. <laughs> that was a gulp and a half. It's good. I mean, overall, I think that this is a great brew. Um, you know, I wish there probably wasn't like a wateriness at the end. I wish it kind of like stayed on your palate a little bit stronger with those flavors. But I mean, overall, I think it's a solid, a solid brew. And I love that they're like doing an Oktoberfest brew and literally that's never been done for the non-alcoholic world. So I'm all about it. Okay, time for the Sober Sips summary. So someone who I think would like this Oktoberfest is someone who likes, I don't know, an Oktoberfest beer. Someone who likes a great craft beer because what Athletic does best is craft brews. You really like can taste all the craftsmanship that goes into it. Someone who likes that kind of like toasted, that clean malt, that little bit of bitterness, maybe a little bit of sweetness. That was a lot of things. But if you like all those things, then you will like this Oktoberfest. I think it's awesome. Someone who wouldn't like this is someone who doesn't like any of those flavors that I just listed. Also, if you don't want anything with any traces of alcohol, um, then of course avoid this. But overall, Athletic continues to impress me. Um, it's a pretty solid brew, I gotta say. My gosh, they have done it again. Oh, babes, thank you so much for watching this episode of Sober Sips. Make sure that you're subscribed to the No Booze Babes YouTube channel and make sure you like this video if you enjoyed it. If you want me to keep these Sober Sips episodes coming, it really supports my channel. And of course, comment below with what you'd like me to Sober Sip on next. As I always say, happy Sober Sipping, babes. Cheers.